lovely wee camshaft rolling on bearings. This is upside down, obviously, that's the top that goes onto that. I must say it's a bit difficult trying to remember how this bloody engine goes back together given that it's got to be over 15 years since I stripped the bloody thing. <laughs> Welcome to my workshop extension. It's called the kitchen. I've got the cam cover in the oven heating up and I've got a set of rockers waiting here to go in because the pivots are an interference fit and I don't want to be banging them in with a hammer. I'm far too refined for that. So, time to get the cover out of the oven. Right, time to come out of the oven. Ooh. And it gets cooked just nicely. Hop, hop, hop. So, First of all, a wee dab of oil inside. Don't want it going in dry. <coughs> and then great thing about this is Yamaha have threaded these pivots and it's so that you can pull them out. You actually have to, well, I had to use a slide hammer to pull them out, but that's obviously why they're threaded. But the good thing about that is that when it's all hot like this, you can still get it in. And get a wee knock to persuade it in. Actually, I don't think it's even going to need a knock, is it? Just a very soft tap, and it's in there, here at seat. There we have number one in. They're all actually identical, so they're not numbered. Well, I could say they should have been numbered when they came off originally, because They'll all have wear marks from the cam, but you know what? It's a 1960s engine. I don't. It's not a Formula One engine, so I'm not too precious about that. Oil's on. Bolts on. And I must say, given that you'd need a slide hammer to take these out. Um, and that one's a wee bit tighter, but uh, a bit easier to go in like that. Two at four. I wonder if I drop a, a wee drop of this oil on here, I'll get a nice smell because uh, this, folks, is Castellar. I'm actually oh yes, we're racing. You get it centered, and then it's away in. Last one coming up. Oh, it's getting a bit hot. A bit hot. <laughs> so, screws in the bolt. 
Castrolar is on the wrecker. Seating that ting as it gets into the end, and then there's a screws go in there to hold the whole thing in place. Camshaft sits along here, like that, and there you have it. Rocker's back in place after 15 years plus.